Okay, my, my camera ran out of room, so it should have enough room. So what I'm going to demonstrate, a connection, um, which I find, um, which is not um, putting this on Ms. Costazos, because Ms. Costazos has been very um, kind. But um, it's just, um, this is how it looks. And um, they're saying, um, so I told them I... But I didn't know Miss Costazos was going on a vacation or was not going to be here. I don't know if she's on a vacation or what. But this is how um, formerly extended stay now Admiral Suites look. And so. I was um, saying that we were going to move soon, but um, when I started, there's some things that has happened in between time. Um, so I pushed it. I didn't know that she wasn't going to be here for this week. So we end up paying six ninety. Remember, we are um, we are preparing to move. So they fixed this door. Oh, no, they didn't. So this door right here, anybody can open a door and come in and out. So um, this was a hole, but they put something on it. So if you open a door, as you can see, this is, um, so there's still, this is um, the hallway you would go through to get to the room. And once again, it's September the 10th, 2024. And uh, since I've started to um, post about the frequency um, and the um, African-American male and female accents in, and Spanish-speaking accents in, we're not leaving the room. And we can follow, you, follow her or follow you. Um, there's been a lot of odd things happening. Um, this would, this is, this is where the gym used to be, but I, I part of the, where the gym used to be, they're making it to something else, but you see this, these, they're, they're, they're renovating. So, see, they're working here. All this is renovation. And Imani and I, we've been here at this hotel, different name since 2016 of August. So I was thankful for Ms. Casazos, but she's not here today. But I had to make a payment because I didn't want to um, have an issue with our rooming. So I made the double payment. Instead of three ninety, they said we um, the portfolio is saying six ninety. I was like six ninety, you know. Um, so I was telling them that. Um, possibly this I think this is where the gym was or partial of where the gym was I was telling them that we were paying on different days so this could be that could be why but then today it's saying we owe six hundred and ninety dollars so they are really renovating a lot um, there's some places like um, where they fix the hole that when you go and make when you go and try to rent a room there was a hole yesterday, but it looks like they fixed it above your head. So they're changing Admiral Suites to the Marriott, which I was told that they're not going to have long-term stay anymore. This is why we went ahead and applied for an apartment, and we are approved. So we're getting ready to move, and I was so thankful with Costazos, Miss Costazos helping um, by um, saying this is what your rent can be so you can move. You've been here since August of 2016. Um, um, you are a long-term guest. And so some, sometimes during these years, I've paid $86. I don't know if others um, per night, I don't know if others paid less during that time when they came in. Because at that time, whatever they told me the rent was, I just accepted and tried and paid and made the payment. So I never, um, I didn't start really checking and see what the rates were until um, I think it was last year on my own. And because um, 
um, this was uh, anyway, and that's how. But usually, whatever they told me, that the rate that they had, I would pay. And so the highest we paid was eighty six dollars per night. So here, uh, so you could just open the door. That. So, so here, you see they're they painting. So the Marriott, I was told, is going to be possibly 150 to 200 per night. Possibly, it's a Marriott. They they have a long ways to go, as you can see. It's a very long ways to go before they finish, <laughs> possibly, because this these are all this is old carpet, but um, they're getting there. So if you come through this way, so let me just go back this way so you can see this is the elevator. So I'm think I was I am thankful that we were approved for an apartment. So and I did tell the representative that our move out date would be on the 25th. Um, and she said she's gonna leave communication for Ms. Masazos. But I didn't know she wasn't gonna be here. So this week so that was the room that we're in now 119 we're going to be in the room until the 25th so this is how it looks out here when you walk in so i don't know how the upstairs looks i don't go upstairs but I can only assume that it's probably some, somewhat similar to this um, the men's bathroom. But I don't know if they still work on the men's bathroom. Looks like they're almost done. There's some like material or like little stuff like needs to be spelled. But anyway, they are working on it. I'm just looking around. So they're, so they're working on um, a lot of the, um, the hotel here. Um, the Marriott is a very up. Oops, I didn't even see this part. Is a very upstanding. Um, <laughs> this is so. If you look over here, this is the window. Is a very upstanding um, hotel. It really is. Um, so to have a hotel go from, I guess maybe. I mean, the most I paid was eighty six dollars per night. Um, that's the most I ever paid through, as far as what I remember through the years since August of 2016, um, to go from $86 per night to uh, almost 200 or maybe 250 per night, that's a big jump. So they're still working on it. This is the thing here. So, but nonetheless, um, it's, um, it, it has been an experience. So I guess Ms. Costanzos is coming back. I'm talking this one. I guess Ms. Costanzos is coming back um, next week. They were told me maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, oops, I'm walking the wrong way. So maybe Wednesday or Thursday. So oh, if you go out this way, so this is where I usually walk when I come this way. way I part, she's one of the representatives that um, just took the payment of $690. So... This is, this is, okay, there's Sinesta. If you look there, that's Sinesta. That's the hotel right next to here that took out over a hundred dollars out my account. And, and when I was, um, it sounded like she didn't want to give me back the hundred. She said that, um, she, it, at first it sounded like she did, was not going to give me back the hundred dollars that they took out of our account. And this is right when I was really preparing, um, trying to find um, apartment preparing to move because um, I was told that Extended Stay America, now I'm formerly Extended Stay America, now Amber Suites is getting ready to, um, to go to um, go to um, the Marriott, which is going to be 150 to possibly $200 a night. And um, as you can see, they're working on doing that. They're renovating everything. And so um, I was so surprised 
in a sequence of me um, learning of this even more, or just really re it's being reiterated uh, to see over a hundred dollars. Cause I remember I was trying to, um, I applied for another apartment and I gave them a deposit before I applied for the ones that I'm at now that I was approved for. And I gave them a deposit and I had to pay for the application fee. And um, then I looked at my account and Sinesta here in Annapolis took out a, over $100 um, out of my bank account. And I was like, and I went to talk to her. At first, it, 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 she, it seemed like she was implying that they weren't going to refund me. That um, once the reservation is made and paid, she, she said she admitted nobody came in and slept in the room. But she said that um, once this has happened, that that's it. And I was like, pretty much, and that was the implication at first. And I was like, well, I started to ask for numbers when I realized that she was going towards that way of not uh, refunding the money. So that's Sinesta. And I told her, I said, that that's thievery, that's stealing. Someone stole, some, I said, um, someone um, stole money out, out of her account. That sounds like thievery. And she, I, you know, so um, then um, after that, um, after I started to ask for a um, corporate number, because she, she was like saying that they're not going to help you. you um, we get the help from here or you, or you don't get help at all in so many words. It sound like that she, she was saying or implying. Then she just said she'll go ahead and refund me. But um, once again, this is all in reference to moving and um, not amalgamating with um, something that I don't want to amalgamate with. So if the frequency in the room or some type, and I'm not accusing Admiral Suites, I'm not, or Extended Stay America, because I don't know. But there's um, some type of technology that can follow. I, I spoke of African-American, Black, Negro accents, male and female saying, I love, um, female saying, I love your son like an animal, um, males saying brother, um, and so forth, um, military, police, and so forth. If they are, if they realize that they're not going to be able to do what they want to do, that includes thievery, okay? Because if um, if you have someone that's a newcomer to a city, they're a productive citizen, they have no criminal background. The last thing, like we, like Imani and I, we're Moors. We've been naturalized to uphold constitutional laws of freedom, and. Um, I always say this, we were taught as more to respect the, United, the naturalized United States military. So why would any, why would I as a woman and, and um, her son, but partic particularly me, have any issue with anyone or any type of criminal activity in a city with the United States military, Navy and Army prevalent? They drive, they, you see them everywhere. They're at Whole Foods. They come, they eat at Burger King. I'm pretty sure I see them going to Wendy's. They're everywhere in Annapolis. And I'm pretty sure um, they're probably over here at, um, at Sinesta. And, rent, and I, through the years, I would see them um, rent rooms here when it was extended to America and I'm a sweet. So I don't know what this is, but in our room, so I'm coming back in here. And these are little holes in our room. There's still like three holes. But I'm, you know, they they said they're renovating the room. We get ready to move, so I'm like, I'm not going to worry about the renovate, um, the holes or any of that at that room because, um, we're we're getting ready to move. So, anyway, Sinesta did um, refund the money, but it took me having to ask for corporate numbers to do that for her to really just say we're going to refund you the money, and I found it really really odd because. Um, I started planning to move by putting a deposit down on an apartment and application and um, applying. So, and then all of a sudden money was stolen out of our account. So anyway.
I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm going upstairs. I don't know. I'm going upstairs and see. I don't know what's going on upstairs. This is a lot. They did. This is new. Uh, this is really new. This is probably less than six months old. So attention, do not hold the elevator open. It will break the elevator. Thank you. So I I go up um I only went up there usually to go find a representative and so forth. These floors are done. They they um the floors were all carpet. Now they're hard now they're hard wood floors. But the carpet that you see, that's the carpet that's been there since uh, 2016. This is, you see, they're working on the elevator. I'm here in the elevator. You see, they're working on the elevator. Second floor. And once again, I didn't know. Oh, look. Okay, so. I didn't know, so they have. Um, so they really are um, trying to renovate quickly. Um, I didn't know that Miss Costazos wasn't going to be here, and I don't know how many people are renting rooms. So this is how it looked up here, um, up here. So up, I don't know how many people renting rooms up here. Um, the gym is not working. Um, the gym is not working. The um, washroom where you wash your clothes is not working. We got to hand wash our clothes, which is okay because we're moving. Um, it's okay that we don't, I mean, but the, I, I would say, what uh, this is a room that's being worked on. <laughs> I would just say what shot me is just saying that it was 690. The lady on the phone or the person on the phone said that um, it's going to be $75 per night and um, they can't honor the the low rate that, um, and I'm only going to be here for like, um, the 20 to the 25th of September. My goodness. So I didn't, um, they really working on these. This is a lot of work. I didn't buy all these rooms are being renovated. I guess some of them that are closed, they are probably, um, have someone there, maybe. I don't know. So I was, once again, um, the hotel is still open. Um, people still come and get a room. So I guess they have certain rooms. I, what I'm saying is I, 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 was, I am surprised for her to say that I have to pay $6.90 today because, once again, um, I was telling um, Jen was being very nice, but she's not here once again. Uh, Miss Costazos um, was being very um, kind because she said, I know you're trying to move, you know, and um, and I was like, yes, and I got to pay rent here and um, pay rent there. And so the rent was low. And she said, also, you're a long term guest. You've been here for a very, very long time since um, 2016. So um, to pay six ninety. dollars um, all of a sudden, when I'm trying to move, I have to um, pay a nice large deposit because we don't have, we have very little credit. Uh, we don't have bad credit. We just don't have any credit. Um, actually, tomorrow, I... I'm supposed to be getting life lock um, to protect our identity. Um, so, and an alarm system, um, checking into an alarm system in the apartment. So all these, you see, all, the, all these rooms are being renovated. So this carpet here, once again, is the same carpet that's been here since August of 
guests from um, the workmen here. 